I really wanted it to be a setting of those words. You have not chosen me, I have chosen you. You spend so much time staring at them when you're here that they just become part of you. There's a note on the organ which is sustained all the way through and it's meant to represent the voice of God. It's just there, sort of in the background, if you can pick it out. And the voices underneath it are like our response, sometimes nicely in harmony, sometimes kind of discordant, but always being drawn upwards towards it. You can feel the longing that that call of God elicits within the person. And incidentally, that note is a B, and that's significant because the call of God is always to become precisely that person that he has created us to be. It's really great to be able to combine the music with Mark's beautiful pictures of one ocean winter right on the cusp of spring just like the seminary motto, which forms the centre of the piece, Spes Messis in Semine, the hope of the harvest is in the seed. The final part of the piece, the let it be done unto me according to your word, it's not written anywhere on the chapel walls, but hopefully it's inscribed on the hearts of those of us who pray here. We make it our response to those words of Christ, which are both comforting and unsettling. I have chosen you.